right. Brown again. Godwin dropped the passes, all right, including a touchdown pass and a fumble. As far as I'm concerned, he didn't have that great of a night. But we know what that brother can do. Mike Evans is no joke. Did you also see how Rob Gronkowski looked? Mm. Slimmer? That's the best I've seen Gronkowski look in years. Vintage He Brown. looked really, really good. All I'm saying is, look at the weapons. And you yeah. know at some point, you're going to modify things in the secondary and the front seven ain't even open for debate. So when I look at it from that perspective, I'm saying, excuse me, I expect them to win the NFC South. I expect them to have one of the top teams. I expect them to have home field advantage, at least for a couple of playoff games. And they still got Tom Brady with all of those weapons. Why should I not believe that the reigning defending Super Bowl champions can, can, can repeat? Why should I not believe that? Because it's hard and because very few people have ever done it. Listen, I agree with all the reasons you just said. I agree. I think they're going to win their division. I think they'll probably get home field advantage. But I think in the playoffs, it is really hard to run the table. You're talking about one of the best players. He's not. He's the best player of all time. And he's only been able to do it one time is go back to back. It is really, it really was, hard. That's why it's it was, easier to take the odds. But it, but, but it happened once with him. It did. Mm -hmm. And no one has won seven, which he has. And I'm saying to you, regardless of the numbers, if there is somebody that is well <laughs> equipped to get it done, it's him, who's returning. He's, he's playing for a team where he's returning all 22 starters. All 22 starters from last year. Same coach, same coaching staff, same 22 starters. So you're not only talking about ability, you're talking about continuity. If anybody can appreciate that, I would think it's Tim Tebow. I wouldn't <laughs> expect Tim Tebow to disagree with that. Uh, so I'm not disagreeing with it. I'm simply stating it is hard to go back to back. And by the way, the Patriot team that did it was ridiculous. That was a stacked team on offense and defense and, and special one? teams. That was an incredible Patriots team, the team that went back to back. And, and I'm, not saying that, I'm not saying this Bucks team can't do that. This Bucks team is incredible. Like all the reasons you said, they have, so, they have as many weapons offensively as anybody does. They have an incredible front seven. They have two of the best linebackers that can go sideline to sideline. They get after the quarterback. All those reasons are great I think they're one of the top teams but when you get to the playoffs you it is a gauntlet it is really hard to be able to run the table and you're going to get everybody's best shot everybody is going to be saying okay against Bruce Arians against Tom Brady against these Bucks we're going to do everything and we're going to throw the kitchen sink into there that's why it's hard to repeat because everybody the whole year is giving you your best and eventually one time when you slip up on the playoffs it's done. That's why it's really hard. Can I jump in here before we move on? Because it was a topic bar on Get Up. And I know we mentioned Zach Martin, but Stephen, I'll start with you. How concerned are you about Ezekiel Elliott that his best days are behind him? I'm not concerned. I'm not concerned. Um, I, first of all, we didn't see enough from him last night. We didn't see a dude that couldn't run. Mm -hmm. We saw a team that didn't run. There's a difference. Now, if the man had 23, 25 carries, wasn't getting anywhere, looked slow and all of that stuff, that would be different. He was slimmer. He looked just as, if not faster than he has in the past. He had a, he scampered for 13 yards on one run on the outside. He's shown what he can do. We know what kind of capabilities he has. But the Dallas Cowboys clearly made a concerted effort not to run the football last night because Zach Martin was out and that front seven they were going against with Dak Prescott and, and, and Tampa's suspect secondary. Yep. They made a decision to throw the football 40, 58 times. Tim, I'm not worried about Zeke. If you think – Zeke Elliott is going to still be a good player in the NFL? Absolutely. He's going to bounce back and have a, a good season and a good career. If you think he's going to lead the NFL a couple more times in rushing, no. I don't think that's going to happen. It's not the same offensive line he mm, had. Exactly. It's not the same system he had. Not so he's going system. to be successful, but he's not going to be what he was because the system and the team's not the same. And it's just going to be other guys are going to be able to lead the league in rushing. I don't think he's, he's in the best system to be able to lead the league like he did twice. Molly, I just want to say yeah. I'm very, very concerned. I expected Tim Tebow, my friend, to come on here and to be friendly, to come at me the way that he's come at me, even though it's Are a debate. Are you kidding show. me? I'm kind of shocked. This is, I'm kind this of shocked. Just, it's friendly bad. love. It's friendly this banter. Is, this I'm, I'm kind of shocked. I'm kind of shocked. I just think maybe you wow. should have talked to Tim P Tebow before wow. you took Zeke with your first I'm, pick. I'm, I'm maybe he could have educated you. Tim I don't know who you're consulting. Like All right, guys. All right. Uh, we'll leave it there. All Plenty right. more to get to. Perhaps no team in the NFL this season has more. In August was the primary reason. I would be remiss if I didn't, you know, be a be honest. Did it catch me by surprise being released? Absolutely. Do I think this would have happened without me being away from the team for five days? Honestly. Honestly. Yes. It was gonna happen. It was gonna happen. Inevitably. Did it did it help ease the decision? Yes.
Okay, sometimes closed doors can be a blessing, it sounds like. Stephen A., your reaction? I wish Cam nothing but the best. Um, I hope that he ends up back in this league. Um, I think Cam is a good person. He's a good brother. His heart is in the right place. Um, and I think that needs to be said. Having said all of that, Tim, this is just my personal opinion. And I had no idea. They, they just alerted me to what Cam had to say. So this subject is new to me. And I'm operating yeah. off of it freshly. Um, not to knock the producers. They did a great job as always. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, is that I'm just learning about this. And I will tell you this. Cam is one of those guys that you can just tell he's a unique presence. And he likes to do things his way. When you play the quarterback position in the National Football League, you don't get to do things your way. Unless you get to a point where you're so established that you can get away with things most people can get, can't get away with. Tom Brady can do things his way in Tampa, but it's because he has the support of the organization from ownership on down to Coach Bruce Arians and the staff and beyond. You don't get to be the maverick. And Cam knows, and Bill Belichick can say what he wants, but there's no way on earth in my mind, Tim, that this decision to let him go wasn't made because of the whole refusal to get vaccinated. Because not once but twice Cam found himself in a position where he had to miss days. And if you, if, if, if what all the things that are said about Bill Belichick is true, you know, best, avail best ability is availability, and availability equals reliability. And if you're not available, then you're not reliable. And if you're not reliable, the last thing I can take a chance on is my quarterback not being reliable. Cam, Cam knows that. He sensed that. He gave every indication. He believes that had something to do with it. So at the end of the day, no disrespect to him whatsoever, but maybe because of mitigating circumstances, he brought this on himself. I don't know if Cam brought this on himself. When I look at it, uh, I think they found someone that they fell in love with in Mac Jones. I think they okay. found someone they believe could be a superstar in their system. Someone that thinks similar to Josh McDaniels and can pick up this offense and can run it the way they want. And I think when you look at Cam Newton, you have someone with an incredible personality. It is, like you said, it is unique, right? And some people love it. And some people, you know, think it's boisterous. I personally, when he played with, with me, I loved it. I mean, Cam would run around the field and, you know, he would be saying, you know, telling people, don't touch me, I'm schizophrenic. And everybody would be laughing and, and you'd be having fun. And, it, and he would just make me laugh. And I loved it. I loved being around him. I loved the joy that he brought. I loved the, the, how, how fun he was. And for some people, they, they, they look at Cam and they say, well, you know, it's, 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 it's too much and, and it's too loud and all this. And I, and I think when it comes to Cam and his future, I think Cam can still play in the NFL. So I think I. Cam still has the talent. I think it's going to take someone with a strong personality to say, we know Cam is unique. We know that he's got a loud personality, but we also believe in the system and the, the way he can fit into the right system. I don't think there's a lot of people that will take a chance, but I do think there's a couple people, maybe because of injuries, maybe because of lack of performance out of their QB position, or it's going to give Cam a chance, but you also have to fit him to the system, to his skill set, which I think his skill set is still a really good skill set of athleticism of better passing than a lot of people give him credit for, and he's still a freak athlete. And so when you give him the the, the right system around him and the nourishment, the nourishment and the encouragement of, of who he is and let him be Cam, which isn't necessarily like a lot of other guys, but let him be, because he, Cam can't be something different. He's got to be who he is. And when mm -hmm. you bring that out, like, uh, like it, when he was at Auburn, like when he was in the Carolina Panthers certain times, that's when he has a chance to, to really flourish. And if you try to bottle that up, if you try to harness it, if you try to make him you know, quiet and not talk and, and not hype stuff up and not rap and all this, you're, you're also taking away part of his juice, right? And I'm also someone that I played a little bit unique and played with, with certain passion and emotion. And so I get it. I, I didn't want to really be bottled up and I don't think Cam should either. So if he finds a, a, the, a right fit, I think he still has a chance to succeed because he is a unique gifted athlete and he's a unique gifted person if supported and put in the right situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't disagree with you. I just think that 
in the NFL, that's asking for a lot because it's not what they do. You it's know, not, it's, and, it's, and it makes people uncomfortable. It makes some 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 coaches and some owners uncomfortable. But yep. when the right, you, when you take a chance and you support it, that's also when special happens. Well, I guess Someone's what I'm asking, to Tim, take a chance. If, in fairness, let me ask you this question, and then I'll just let you end it the way you choose. I'll ask you this question. It would be one thing. Don't get me wrong. You might have somebody that has no problem with it, and they support him. They, mm-hmm. They'll support him because it's natural. I'm talking about extending yourself to support a particular player because he might be a bit different, a bit eccentric, or his way of doing things might be different, et cetera, et cetera. Do you see an NFL team, the NFL culture that, that, that exists today, do you see somebody doing that? Like I don't think themselves? I don't think I don't think someone just opens the door uh, um, and says we're going to hand you the keys to the car. But I think if someone did, listen, there's a lot of teams that don't really have a chance this year, and so.